Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and today I will be tackling this furniture makeover. So this is our theatre room for those that haven't seen it before. It's not finished yet, still got to do those pieces at the back there as well. They need a furniture makeover but we're starting on the entertainment unit and we got this piece from the Facebook marketplace. It's in pretty bad shape, like it's pretty knocked up. It didn't have, um, I think that used to have glass in the door frames. I think one was still there and the other one wasn't. So we pulled both of them out. It used to have a couple of shelves there, but just to fit the equipment that we've got, we've pulled those out. It's a really good solid unit. Pretty dinged up, but I'm going to use all that dinged upness, if that's even a word, to my advantage. What we're going to do first, I'm going to give it a good clean with some disinfectant and let it all dry. And then we're going to start painting it. So I'm going to be using my homemade chalk paint recipe to paint this. And I will show you how I mix that up. All right, so I'm going to start by painting all the inside of this cabinet black. Now, I've already mixed my chalk paint in this black. It was some leftover black from another project. Uh, so that's already mixed. So we'll start with the inside first. But don't worry, I will show you how to mix the chalk paint when I start the blue colour for the outside. I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do All of my breath on reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on now I've given the inside a coat of black. It looks quite blue or gray on camera, but it's actually black. This one still needs a second coat and that one still needs a second coat because Michael had to put in um, a raised up floor in that for the speakers. So that's still gonna get a second coat. So I'm gonna show you how I mix up my chalk paint and we'll go from there. Okay, so for me, I like to make my own chalk paint just because I find it's a lot more economical, to be honest. And I have never used pre-made chalk paint, so I don't really know the comparison, but I have never had any problems with um, the, the homemade chalk paint that I do. And I've pretty much painted everything in, pretty much every single piece of furniture in my house has been done with my homemade chalk paint. And I find it's been holding up really well. Like I haven't got anything to compare it to, like I said, but this works for me brilliantly. So all I use to make my chalk paint is some plaster of Paris. And I bought a massive bag from eBay quite a few years ago, maybe four years ago. I think I bought, it was either a three kilo bag or a five kilo bag for only about $20 or something. And I've painted everything in my house with it and I've still got this much left. So what you're gonna need is one third of a cup of plaster of Paris, one third of a cup of water, for every cup of paint that you're gonna use. Now the paint that I use is just your regular wall paint. So whatever you would paint your walls of your house in, that's all I use. And I usually get these sample pots from uh, Bunnings and they're about $9 for a sample pot and you get 500 mil in the pot, which is two cups basically. So what I do is I put it in a separate container. So I get my one third of a cup of plaster of Paris there. I get my one third of a cup of water, just, just plain water. And then I mix this up separately and you mix it until it's all dissolved. Make sure there's no lumps and it's all smooth. And I like mixing it all first prior to adding the paint. I just find it gives a lot smoother 
consistency and you don't get any lumps in your actual paint. Okay, so I'm gonna put another another one in now because like I said, one third of a cup of plaster of Paris for every cup of paint. I've got two cups of paint that I'll be using. So I'm gonna put an extra cup of plaster of Paris in and another third of a cup of water. Okay, so that should be mixed enough. Check out that color. Now I freaked out when she mixed this because I honestly thought, nah, that's definitely the wrong color. But apparently that blue turns into that color. She's even swatched it on here. I don't know if you can sort of see the raised swatch on there and it literally dries that color. Would you believe that? So <laughs> I'm hoping it'll do the same on my furniture. So what we're gonna do now is pour all of this into here and then we mix it all in. Okay, so what I'm gonna start by doing is just, I've just got like a, I don't know what you call these sort of brushes, but just a real crappy, cheap, shitty little brush. And I'm just going to go over the sides just really roughly where I want it to sort of be um, a little bit darker. I'm going to just go over with a bit of this black first and then we're going to paint the blue over the top. And it doesn't have to be neat or anything like that. Like the messier the better probably. And what I love about painting furniture these days is you don't have to worry about brush strokes or anything like that. Like especially if you're doing like a more of a distressed sort of feel. You can, I mean, your furniture pieces can be like a work of art, really, you know. It's, um, you don't have to have perfect brush strokes and all of that sort of thing. And that's what I love about painting furniture these days. Just do it however you like it. No need to be scared, you're going to mess up. And because I'm using chalk paint, I haven't sanded this either. You don't need to. Just paint straight over the top. Look away so you won't see Cause the pain is in my eyes Feels like I could break at any moment And shatter your insides If you be my mind Call me on alone Try to give you hints in a heart to see Right on the Okay, so I've just sort of gone around really roughly, just gone around all the outsides of where I want it a little bit darker and yeah, I mean like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping this will work out, I've never done this before but we'll give it a go. And uh, yeah, I mean if it doesn't, we can just paint over it, no big deal. So I'm going to let this dry now and then we'll come back. Okay guys, so we've let the edges dry. Now for the fun bit, painting the blue. Blue. Get your foot. Oh jeez, not that blue. Oh, you got the wrong colour. It's ruined now. Can I spy the table thing then? So you want to apply the paint in like a crisscrossy, mishmash style of brush. Like you don't want to just go straight up and down. You want to just try and, yeah, more like a crisscrossy type pattern. This way it'll give it a lot of texture once it's dried. Right on the Yeah. 
coat on now before it gets too dark um, too dark outside not too dark with the paint um, it's pretty much dry so this second coat now I'm pretty much going to try and you know cover it all so that it's all one color now I'm hoping the black around the edges will still sort of show up a bit darker than the rest of it but if not I'll probably go over it with a bit of black at the end again anyway but yeah i'm gonna try and concentrate this coat now and making sure it's got a good coat everywhere of the blue and that's the thing with chalk paint you don't have to worry about your brush strokes so much So this is the second coat on now and um, yeah it's it's really bright blue at the moment but once it dries it does darken up so as you can see <clears throat> it's a messy sort of paintbrush finish with it being chalk paint it will like a lot of those brush strokes will actually dry and you won't be able to see them all right so now for some fun stuff my brush or sponge into there tap it off and we're just gonna go around the edges with some black and don't worry too much if you stuff up you can always go over it with blue again it's not a major deal if you put too much black on or you know it's not looking even or whatever just go back over it with the blue and I'm pretty much just gonna do this all around the edges and wherever I feel it needs a bit of aging to it. All of my breath on reveling emotions. I need some space to think this through. Call me on night long. Try to give you hints in a heart to see. Right on Okay, so I've got these handles which I picked up from another project, um, I think either from eBay or AliExpress. Pretty sure I got a pack of about 10 for probably $10. They're roughly a dollar each, probably a little bit less even. And I'm just going to spray paint them gold because I just think gold will be a nice accent colour to the cabinet. So just using regular cheap spray paint from um, super cheap or any spray paint shop <laughs> and let them dry and then flip them over so last step in the process is to buff the whole cabinet in some furniture polish or furniture finishing wax it's just a beeswax furniture polish just looks like that now whenever I'm doing a polish on furniture if I'm doing white furniture I always use a white rag if I'm doing dark furniture I always use a dark rag mainly it's more so in if you're doing white furniture if you're using a colored rag you just don't want any of the color rubbing off on your furniture so that's just my rule of thumb so what we're just going to do is get a whole heap of this on your rag and we're just going to buff it all in and this would help not only smooth out the finish because when you're using chalk paint it's always like a rough sort of finish anyway which I like actually I'm not keen on the smooth shinier finishes but this will help protect your paintwork as well so don't definitely don't skip this step this is probably one of the most important steps 
in the longevity of your furniture. And just continue doing that along your whole piece. So last step in the process, what I'm going to do, because I've got my, I've put my gold handles on now, um, and I'll show you a proper look at those in a minute, but what I thought I might do is just paint the hinges in gold as well, just to make them stand out a little bit more, I guess, and to tie in with the handles. So again, I'm just going to use some spray paint, but what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to spray some spray paint into the lid and then just use a little tiny brush just to brush it on. Um, so you put a bit in the lid there. Right on the line. go guys the first furniture makeover done for our theater room it's definitely not what I originally had in mind but I am really really liking it and I'll show you a close-up of the handles and hinges I've just painted those now we got the handles on there so that's the three handles the two on the cupboard and the drawers and then the hinges there. We've actually fitted it out so that it would fit our speakers. Um, we've got a couple more speakers on that side as well and a few at the back. And yeah, pretty, pretty happy with the way this is. And now all we have to do is just fill, fill up all the inside. So again, I've just painted them all black in there just so that it's all uniform and yeah. Super easy, super quick. You can't mess it up, guys. If you're if you've wanting to do a furniture makeover, but you're you know a little bit sort of daunted by the fact, just do it. Like you cannot mess it up. And yeah, have fun with it. And you know, just give your pieces of furniture something a little bit unique, something a little bit different. But yeah, really loving, really loving the way it looks. But maybe come over into the onto the dark side yeah so that's the kind of finish that's on the top and do a bit of the distressing all around the edges as well but yeah really happy with that and i think once we get all our other accessories in here it's um gonna look quite good and you know me guys i'm not really a person for color but um, yeah, this is my first real, pretty much, yeah, colourful piece that I've ever done in my house. So it might be the start of a new trend. <laughs> For $100 picked up off the buy, swap and sell in a pretty bad state. I think it looks like it could be worth at least $200 now for sure. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Fight with you.